Good morning dear students welcome back to your online IB class so today i'll be discussing about robotics big data and their characteristics robotics what does this term mean or what is robotics we all know about the term robots what are robots they are programmable machines that are usually able to carry out the series of action for the human being they help human being to do their work so our robotics robotics is a branch of technology that deals with those physical robots which help us in doing our work robots interact with the physical world via sensors and actuators the device which is helpful for moving the joints of the robots they are programmable they are autonomous or semi autonomous means that they are able to perform the task repetitively there are branch of robotics which help us to create those intelligent robots which can think and act like human beings robots are these days being used in many different and diverse fields you can take an example as aerospace the example can be mars rover where the images are and samples are being collected from mars surface and robonaut household chores robots so they are basically used for house cleaning purpose disaster management the japan's packbot robot which inspected damage at fukushima daiichi nuclear power station and there are many other unnamed aerial vehicles called drones which are also used for variety of purposes like videography journalism delivery or shipping these days humanoids and ai based robots which look and act like humans like sofia robot honda's asimo to counter the physical disabilities and many other fields such as education entertainment and so forth so these are the robots which help and work for us and there are many other robots which work exactly same as a human being so they are developed with they are called as ai based robots or humanoids and robotics is basically the technology used to deal with these physical robots i hope you have understood the term robot and robotics well so now let us look into the term big data what is big data or before that i would like to clear the term that what is data means whatever what all uh, work you do in a uh, you can do in a minute in internet in one minute of time you can write a paragraph on internet or maybe you can count a little number of data or you can check your mails over internet in one minute of time so all the work which you are doing that is countable because you are doing it on your own however on daily basis on internet in one minute of time millions and billions of people globally they are connected and working on different kind of data navigating through different kind of data so there are number of bytes which are generated at that particular moment on internet is much more than which is not even you can say countable by you so we, that is called as big data you can't even imagine that on one internet minute about 188 millions of emails are sent and google processes about 3.8 million of search queries in one single minute on internet whatever you search on internet so google is responsible for processing your search queries so in a single minute globally google processes 3.8 million of search queries so quintillions of data bytes are being generated and exchanged over internet in a one single minute and such huge amount of data such humongous amount of data which is generated in a single minute is termed as big data a term which is used to describe the large data sets that a traditional database application cannot deal with which internet is doing in one single minute Let us see now some of the characteristics of big data sets. The characteristics of big data sets are often categorized in terms of volume, variety, velocity, veracity and value. So the first characteristic is volume which refers to the enormous amount of data generated. 
there is too much data which is generated online and it is very much con uh, you can say difficult to fit in a particular dbms hard drive on a particular single server so the data on internet which is generated in a single moment of time or you may say the whole amount of data which is generated online it is saved on different multiple servers which are composed of many hard drives of computer the second one is variety where the number of types of data generated is counted so with the big data along with the different structure type wherein the text number currency and boolean data are stored social media sites have to store a massive variety of data types such as photographs videos likes comments messages audio recordings of the user who are browsing the internet so the second characteristics of big data are the variety means the different kind of data which is the type of data which is generated online so the data which is generated online can be in the form of text number or maybe you can see that in a social networking website we share our photographs videos audios also so all those data are also going to be stored all the comments and the likes which we get on our photographs online images all those data are also stored on the server of the database software online so that is also one of the characteristics of big data that all the data are stored online the fourth characteristics of big data is the velocity wherein the measure it is measured that how fast the data is coming in onto the internet websites or how fast the user is browsing the internet whatever data is being processed so it basically refers to the speed of data processing as the rate of generating the data is extremely high there are different kind of social media sites which handle the huge volumes of data every day every day we use a post pictures or quotes or comments and likes so there are huge amount of data which is generated on a social media websites so for measuring the speed of that data refers to the term velocity where which is the characteristics of big data which is also counted when we are browsing the internet Now the fourth feature of big data is data veracity what does this veracity term means it means that how accurate and how truth the data is to check the truthfulness of the data set which is uploaded or which is shared online so in the context of the big data which you can say that where we are sharing a large amount of data people are posting different kind of information online so it is very important to maintain the quality of the data and check that how trustworthy the source is from where the data is com coming all right so this is called as veracity high veracity data has many records that are valuable to analyze and contribute in a meaningful way to the overall results and low veracity data contains a high percentage of meaningless data so a data is also categorized in two parts low veracity and high veracity high veracity means the data is coming from a good source and it is the accurate data trustworthy data however the meaningless data are categorized under low veracity data all right and the last characteristic is value as we all know that a huge cost is also involved in the storage of or processing of such a big data which is being shared uploaded online in a one minute of internet time so it must become valuable for an organization big data must be stored processed and analyzed in a way so that it is converted into something valuable and produces some real valuable information so this is also one of the characteristics that whenever a big amount of data is being posted online or shared online so it is very necessary to check the originality of the data because a huge cost is involved the data should be converted in such a valuable form that it also give us the output in a some valuable information is provided all right so students i hope you have understood this big data concept and the characteristics of big data what is robot and the technology which is used for dealing with the robots which is robotics go through the video very carefully if you have any problem in understanding any of the topic do text me till then stay healthy stay happy thank you so much